Hey YouTube, welcome back to Tech yes, It is Brandy coming back to you guys with a video on why I use Prime95 as my main stress tester for testing temps on CPUs. You see here, 4.2 gigs, rendering a video with Camtasia Studio. Look at those maximum temperatures, 62, 62, 61. Now it is 29 degrees in here, so it is pretty hot, but uh, keep in mind, you know, I have deleted my chip, so it will run cooler than on a standard, um, you know, chip. But let's look at this. So once we finish this rendered video, we'll see here, we'll pull up Prime95 and we'll see what temps we get for you guys. So Prime95 run. Let's go here, options, torture test. And we'll get maximum heat. So we'll get maximum heat. This is the test that we're looking for doing. Um, maximum heat here, we'll just close down Camtasia. Uh, in place, large FFTs, let's hit that. Now let's go back to real temp. So I'm not cutting the video at all. I'm just doing this live, showing you guys why Prime 95 is pretty damn good. Now you saw that rendered video, max was 62. Now we're going into Prime 95. Uh, same ambient temps, probably only gonna get a little bit hotter if anything, because I've got no uh, windows open in this room. But uh, see here, it's going 63, 64. It'll probably hit maybe 65, 66. So Prime95 is kind of, to me, is indicative of what your CPU could theoretically hit. Not theoretically, but actually realistically hit in real world conditions. So you see here my cores are just jumping around, um, kind of hitting, yeah, 64, 65 maybe, but you see there it's only three degrees, roughly three degrees hotter than what Camtasia Studio was actually doing it at. Uh, so this is why I like Prime95 as a stress tester, especially for max temps. It's a really good indicator of what your CPU can, um, you know, actually realistically hit in terms of max temperatures. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. It's just a quick video as to, you know, show people why I use Prime95. I like it. It's especially since it's free. It's also a free program as well. It doesn't cost you anything. So it's uh, also a good benefit of it. So it's mainly, yeah, it's mainly my main program for stress testing uh, overclocks and getting those maximum temperature levels. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And, and before we go, why not? Why the hell not? 29 degrees in here. Let's get that up there for you guys. 29 degrees and let's do Ida 64. So you guys saw before Camtasia took it to 62. Let's see what Ida 64 will take. So we've got to hit all the things. You can see there, stress CPU, stress FPU, it's all done. Let's hit start. Let's see what we're going to get in real temp. So, um, Ida64 is looking kind of 55, 56 degrees. Now, yeah, so it's important to note, this is why I use Prime95. Prime94 reported a higher temperature maximum than my rendering, you know, when I was rendering, than when I was rendering a video. Ida64, on the other hand, isn't reporting a higher temperature. You can see there, it's maxing out at 59 degrees. So it's actually reporting a lower temperature than me actually doing a real world task. So for me, this is why I use Prime95. Uh, you know, if you guys, you know, I'm not gonna say anything, I'm not gonna hate on Ida64 or anything like that. If you guys are happy using Ida64, then use it. But for me, I personally, this is why I use Prime95. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please give it a big thumbs up if you did. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And I will catch you guys soon in a video. It's not, it's not giving me higher maximum temperature than Camtasia. God damn it. Give me that higher temperature now.